Hi, my name is Jamie, and over the next couple of videos, I want to show you getting started with React. Now, React is a JavaScript library uh, that allows you to create user interfaces and components. React is a very component based uh, library that gives you the power to create individual components, uh, reusable components throughout your web website and web applications uh, that can both render on the server and the client side, and it is very powerful. Um, if you have been living under a rock for the past two years, you've probably never heard of React and certainly wouldn't have any idea of the JavaScript boom that is occurring. Um, we have a lot of frameworks um, that are in a very stable position right now. We have Angular 2, we have Ember, React, to name a few. And these are very popular choices when creating new web applications. Now, one of the reasons I like React is it is super quick and it uses a thing called the virtual DOM. The virtual DOM allows uh, the React library to see exactly what's changed on the page and only update parts on the page that have changed. So you don't need to um, invoke a full DOM refresh or and bind to certain parts on the page. React will manage all of this internally and just update the components and parts on the page that are required. Uh, React was used to build the new re Instagram.com. Uh, and that was one of the very first web applications that I seen that really caught my eye and really showed me the power of React. Now, React has a lot of development tools. Um, one of them is the Chrome extension, and this allows you to boil down and, and exactly see what components are on the page and what properties and state there are. And this can be really powerful when development, but also when you want to see how other websites are made and using uh, React, it can be a very good learning tool. So what I would suggest is find a React user interface, website, web application, and just have a look around, see how it's structured, how the components are named to get an idea and structured. And this will allow you to go further quickly. Um, React, uh, Twitter was, uh, Twitter mobile was used, uh, uses React, and it is very quick to use. So check those out if you want to get an idea of the speed that React is. But what I want to do in this video is just give you a very quick demonstration on how to create a React application. Now I'm using JSBin here, but you can use um, another tool such as CodePen uh, or um, JS Fiddle or Plunker. And the beauty of React is uh, you can create a component. I already have React and React DOM um, added as a library here. I've also created an HTML page with the div ID root, and that allows me to mount my React application to that component. So you can see here I have React DOM and the React library. Very small files, um, and I would steer away from creating any sort of webpack, grunt, or gulp setup when you're developing and learning React. The importance here is we want to get a insight into React and see how it can be used in a real application and see the power of it. And what we want to do is just get going just quickly. So using JSBin is a great tool and great example to get started. Um, now we have our component created. Uh, I've just given it a name app for now. And it requires one method here, uh, one function called render. And you must return inside of here some gsx uh, this is the easiest way to get your code that looks like html into javascript now this actually is an html although it looks like it and you can write it as html but actually converts to react classes um, so the important thing is here everything must be wrapped inside of a container element such a container tag such as div uh, it could also be h1 and we must place this here. If we weren't to do that and we were to place two, now this will not work because this is two components and what the render method does is extract and compile it to JavaScript com components. It's gonna try and return two functions, which just isn't gonna work. So let's mount this to the DOM and React DOM has a method called render and we wanna render our app component and we want to place it inside 
our root ID. And if we run this with JS, uh, you will see it won't work because we are returning two items here. Now, if we remove those, you'll see that's instantly updated. 